Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today the weather was really quite nice outside. We had a lot of nice sunshine. It wasn't too breezy. I did clean out the chicken house and um, spent a little time outside. I, I brought in my little glass table that I usually have outside on the porch. I brought that in and the chairs so that they will stay nice. I've had them for many years, but I don't leave them out in the winter. So they actually look still pretty brand new because I do bring them in in the, in the winter. Things can get pretty old looking fast if you leave it outside. So I brought those in and I brought in a flower pot that is, it's a ceramic flower pot. I brought that in too so that it, when it freezes it won't crack because those will crack. So if you have any ceramic flower pots outside, get them in before the free, frost comes because the, the dirt inside will freeze and it will expand and then it will crack and then it's ruined. I left a plastic one out there because I know that one won't um, crack. That one has a pansy in it that I got on Mother's Day and the pansy's still growing. I'm not sure what I'll do. I might bring that in later just to see if I can keep it growing all winter because that's a challenge. I brought in um, pepper plants because I was watching Susie from out west homestead and she had brought in some plants from her garden. Well, my pepper plants are not doing well at all. I thought, well, we'll give it a try. If it works, good. If not, it's nothing it's lost. lost. They're still outside. The plants are still good outside. We haven't had a frost yet, which I think because the lake protects us, so we haven't had it yet. But when we do get, sometimes we get the snow drop right over the hill because the, the lake protects us. But then we take a long time to warm up depending on the lake. If it's got a lot of ice on it, then we take a long time to warm up. Well, tomorrow's supposed to be a much better day. I, um... We'll try to sit outside tomorrow some. My other grandkids came today and I said, let me share some peanuts with you. So I boiled up the peanuts. I had them in the refrigerator and I took them out and I boiled them and they really liked them. And I ate them again today. And you know, you the more you eat them, the better they taste. And Jim had some too. He enjoyed it. I peeled them all. They come out of the shells much easier. And um, I think it was Lily, I don't know the full name, but that's part of the name, had mentioned that they, they burn their um, peanut shells and then put the ash on the compost, in the compost. And so we're going to separate, we're separating the peanut shells because Bob had told me on Mountain Crest Farms, he said that the peanut shells take, well, probably not break down, and I'd like them to break down. So we're going to either burn them or crush them or grind them or something. I don't know what we'll do, but it, it would be like he, Jim was saying, it's like when you add that pe perlite. perlite to the potting soil, it kind of makes it airy. Maybe the peanut shells will do the same thing. I don't know. But we're going to try something with them, I'm sure. Right now they're in a separate container so that they can be by themselves and not with my coffee grounds that I, that I put on the um, compost pile. And I don't know if any of you ever have leftover coffee. Like when you put the... We make a full pot every day. And in fact, we make a couple of pots. And it's almost ready to go again, except it would make noise mm. if he was running it now. But if you have leftover coffee, what I do is I add water to that coffee and then I, I water my house plants with it. And if you notice your plants or leaves are starting to get a little yellow, the coffee brings them back green again. So they're lacking probably, what is it, nitrogen maybe? The coffee? I don't know what the, some kind of acid within the coffee. The earth must be, the, the potting soil must be lacking it and it helps. So. None of the coffee ever goes to waste here. We either drink it or my plants drink it. One of the two. Um, I was busy again crocheting. You must think I'm nuts, but I was. And today I went upstairs and I thought, you know, I have some beads upstairs. Maybe I could try them. But these beads, 
this is what I was doing, working on. It's got some round beads and there's seed beads. Now the seed beads are long. So oh, I like thought they look like rice, yeah. And I thought, I wonder if this will work. Well, it's working, but there are spots that I feel like I probably didn't turn the seed quite right, the bead right, quite right. But they look, I, it looks good. It looks still like I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to rip it out. It's almost to the point where I, I can tie it off. And I'm learning how to connect them better. It's actually looking better. So he's going to give me one. Let me give me the, the bright green. That one? The sparkle green one probably was the last one I did. I don't know. These three, they're, they're the connecting. I'm connecting them and they're connecting better. These are connecting real good. This one was my first one. And this one, I can actually see where I connected it. I can see it, and that you shouldn't see. This is my second one, and I can see that one too. By, um, I don't know whether this was third, probably third. And this one I tried to do like they showed. And then fourth, fifth, how many do I have? Three, six. I got six, and I'm working on number seven. And then that should be probably it because I'll be out of beads. I'll have to either buy more beads. I wanted. To use these pretty pink beads I threaded them on a piece of thread but you can't crochet them on the thread well you could but I'm not that good of a crocheter to do it on that fine of a thread but um, I can't get my needle to go through these so I decided I guess I'm not going to use them but they're really pretty the pink is really pretty I think so that is it for today. I hope you all had a great day. I'm all done talking. My dog is in his little house and I'm sure he would like out. So you have a great day and thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.